Hello everyone, my name is Unknown, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be recording a video on different common values for bitrate and how they affect video quality in YouTube videos, also including some explanations of the terminologies associated with this information. My last recording will be at the maximum recommended bitrate that YouTube allows, which is 85,000 kilobytes per second. Hopefully, I don't mess anything up, but let's get moving. I'll be recording all my videos in 1080p, 60 frames per second quality. The only difference being the bitrate values of each recording to determine the quality impact of each. First, I will run an internet speed test as a baseline that you can reference. I will then explain terms and interesting information involved with this video. Afterwards, I will display YouTube's recommended bitrates for 1080p recording at different frame rates, or FPS. Lastly. I will record about 5-6 to six minutes of clips of each bitrate and display to you the videos and descending order of bitrates you will see here soon. If you didn't know already or if you didn't realize from the beginning of this video, YouTube has a maximum allowed bitrate for videos at a whopping 85,000 kilobytes per second. Also a side note, Twitch's maximum streaming bitrate is 6,000 kilobytes per second, for reference if you need it. I am currently unable to replicate accurate video recordings for the recommended bit rates for 2K, 4K, or 8K resolutions, just because I don't have those kind of monitors. But I have done my own little bit of research on the recommended values for 1080p 60 frame per second, recording using OBS. I'll explain how my experience was recording each video at the different bit rates as they come up. Then. I will share what I would suggest is the best for 1080p 60 frame per second recordings, in my opinion. Or you can just judge for yourself and have a good example of what each looked like when recorded at lower values and higher values at 1080p 60 frames. I have a couple of abbreviations for you before we get started. SDR and HDR. What are those? And how do you tell the difference? HDR means high dynamic range, while SDR stands for standard dynamic range. The dynamic range between those two abbreviations means the ratio of the highest and lowest possible values any particular digital system can receive and process. And to explain what the SDR and HDR is briefly, the SDR displays typically have a brighter range of 100 nits to 300 nits, which is suitable for most everyday viewing environments. In contrast, HDR displays can produce a peak brightness of up to 10,000 nits significantly higher than the brightness range of SDR displays. Pretty much, HDR displays will produce better brightness quality with more color capabilities, while SDR would be lacking but still sufficient for recording. In order to find out if your system has either or for Windows 11, go to your search bar and search up HDR on your Windows home screen. In the display settings, there should be a section called Display Capabilities. Then see if the option Use HDR shows supported. If not, then it cannot support HDR. If it does, then you can support HDR. Most newer Windows PCs can show HDR videos, but not be able to use HDR itself, which is fine. In my case, mine shows unsupported, so my laptop's display is likely SDR. But you can also look up your laptop or PC manufacturer to verify if your system is capable of displaying HDR or not. Now let's look into bitrate. Bitrate, by definition, is the number of bits per second that can be transferred along a digital network. Listed here is a list of bitrates recommended by YouTube for different frames per second and what values you should put in for different resolutions. In my case, I'll be using the section on the right between the 48, 50, and 60 FPS range at the recommended bitrates for recording at even the lowest amount, 1500 or the highest amount being 1200 recommended for 1080p 60 frames. Also, at the end of the video, I will be including 85,000 bit rate recording at 1080p for 60 frames. This is not recommended. As far as the recording and which bit rates I use, I will be playing a Steam game called Rust due to the video demand it requires on most systems, including mine. Anyway, let's get started. This is the actual recording portion whenever I actually got onto Rust. Currently, this is the 1500 bitrate of recording on OBS at 1080p 60 frames. And all you need to know mostly is exactly what you can see. It looks very pix pixelated, a uh, very low, low file size for this one. I recorded this for six minutes and 
the amount that it came back to was 95 megabytes for six minutes of recording at 1500 for the bitrate. There's really nothing much you can really say about this, especially for this clip. You can clearly see it is very, very, very bad. Definitely would not recommend this at all, obviously. All right, moving on to the 4000 bit. And I did record this for six minutes. The file size came back to 207 megabytes for six minutes worth of recording. There's no reason for me to explain the difference in the quality. You can obviously see it yourself. And I honestly wouldn't do this unless I have like a very, very low end PC, if you're not really too concerned about that. But realistically, it's a lot better than 1500, no. if you could tell just from watching the video. But we're going to go ahead and move on to the 7500 bits a knife. recording at 1080p 60 frames. Let's take a look how much better it is from 4000 to 7500. Alright, yes, yeah, so as you can see it's a very significant jump. Obviously none of these look like this whenever I'm actually playing, but for this one for 7500 I recorded for 10 minutes and the file size was 600 megabytes. Clearly this is a lot better. This is a good, good medium for like quality and bitrate and also with file size. Definitely would recommend this if you have a pretty average PC or modest PC. Definitely a good amount, especially if you don't have too much storage to, for the 600 megabytes for every 10 minutes. All right, we're moving right along. We are at 12,000. For 12 minutes of video, I got one gigabyte of storage that is needed for every 12 minutes at 12,000 bitrate recording. So All right, relax. clearly there's a big jump between each of these and it's definitely worth noting that if you watch this video, you at least need to take into consideration the quality that's going to be put out after you record it. Obviously, if you can only support a certain amount, just do what's going to give you the best quality, but also not really run anything else down on your system. If you have a pretty, mos a pretty modest PC setup, this is a perfect amount to use. It's a pretty decent amount of quality after you post it, and your viewers are definitely going to enjoy being able to see things properly, at least for the most part, instead of every single pixel on their screen. Obviously, for, for example, the 1500. But this one's a definitely a good amount, especially for the storage that is used every 12 minutes or 10 to 12 minutes. It's not too bad, but it'll definitely start filling up if you make a lot of videos. But anyway, we're going to move on to the 85,000 bit rate. And I honestly didn't think this would work, but I still did, did it anyway because, you know, I want to run that maximum, see what the perfect quality you can get with the bit rate. And we'll go ahead, go ahead and move right into that. So I'll see you in a second. All right, now we are here. This is the 85,000, 20 minutes of recording, came up to a whopping 12 gigabytes of video for 20 minutes at 85,000 bitrate. That is absurdly excessive. Like, if, it, you know, it almost, even though the quality looks near perfect, especially after you record, I really would consider getting more storage personally just so I can start recording at this bitrate because it just looks so much better than what I was used to using. I was used to using 10,000 bitrate. Obviously, if you aren't, if you don't have the means of doing that, like 7,500 seems really good, especially for the storage aspect of it in comparison to anything higher. But if you can afford that extra storage and it definitely works better for you as far as what your want for quality, definitely, Definitely try to do anything a little bit higher, but 12 would be the perfect, perfect amount. 7,500 is just as good. Anything less than that would not recommend it, but mostly this is in the gaming sense, not necessarily like a face recording or like just a normal recording outside of doing any kind of high paced gaming situation. Anyway, that's just my experience. The, the video shows, the video shows itself like the progress between going from 1500 to 4000, 7500, 12000 and 85000. And I hope this was able to explain a little bit better on the differences and how it changes depending on what you use and the storage difference. But anyway, 
my name is unknown thank you guys for watching i've been, I've been editing this for five six hours now hopefully it turns out pretty decent i did a lot of extra stuff that i was never used to so please give me your insight on that in comparison to my other videos definitely check any of those out if you would like uh leave a like a comment whatever you want subscribe if you really want to see me play anything but or maybe more informative things where i do research on a topic and post a video on it after i've learned all that i can at least again thank you for watching i'll catch you guys around peace